One month ago, a strong storm ripped through many areas of the Treasure Valley. A rural town was hit hard, damaging one of those most sacred places. Six on your side's Anna Silver joins us live in studio with an update on the severe damage to the Wilder Cemetery. Right, Don. So the storm actually damaged about 18 different trees, which damaged those headstones and families who have lost loved ones who are buried there were, of course, devastated. And today I went to the cemetery again to check on the progress being made to remedy those issues. This is the scene after a storm came through the Wilder Cemetery, uprooting large trees that had been there for decades, causing headstones to topple over. It wasn't clear how long it would take to rebuild. The day after the storm, dozens of families with loved ones buried in the cemetery went to check if the headstones had been damaged. People in other states called. The Wilder Cemetery Sexton, Larry Cooper, says bases were broken, but no headstones. There's been a lot of long hours in the last month. <laughs> the Canyon County Sheriff's inmate labor detail helped clean up. A tree service removed the trees and monuments have been placed upright. Besides a few details, the cemetery is basically back intact. The irrigation system, we don't know if any of the pipes were broken there other than what was visible. So we'll know that in the spring when the water comes in the canal and we'll deal with that then. So I was thinking it would be so nice to just trim a tree, weed eat, mow, just a normal day at the cemetery. Dig a grave, whatever. <laughs> it's crazy. At the time, Cooper asked why this had to happen. Do you think there's any reason for that well, or why you're here and this happened? Well, it's funny. I remember talking to you about that and I kept thinking, I really fought with that and I thought, okay, why? And I thought, so what if it went right over there and there's houses over there? What if it would have destroyed a house and some lives? So this was, there's obviously God had a plan. So it's all good. So when I did the original story, right. we had the question, well, what will happen? Who will cover the headstones and all the damage? And so actually the insurance of the cemetery covered all of that, the headstones and the trees. And um, also, you know, uh, all of those headstones were brought back up into place. So for the most part, when I went out there today, it was kind of back to normal. Good, that's good. And so what about the folks who might still have questions about their loved one's headstones? Yeah, so they can actually just call the cemetery. Uh, Larry told me that if you don't get them right away, just leave a voicemail and they will get back to you because they will go out there personally and find out for you. Larry looks like a guy who yes. gets things done. <laughs> he does. All, All right. right. Thanks, Anna.